Hi guys, Lima Dane here. Uh, the next process in our step is going to be creating a patch. Uh, this, we're going to go through all this right here. We are going to need some content changed in our original uh, folder and project so that we can create a patch from this. Excuse me. And uh, what I decided to do is let's go ahead and do some customizing the player. Uh, this is in the document. I'll link put a link down there so you can follow along so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, import some animations and a character um, excuse me a skeleton mesh then we're going to go through all this rigging and uh, get it set up let's move this over here so I can read it I posted on the forums but I want to uh, emphasize again if you haven't been to Maximo right now you can go up and build you some characters get some animations and download them it's actually pretty cool uh, let's grab one here. Um, they, they look pretty good for their models. If you haven't done it, I suggest you go up there and check into the Fuse. Just go up to Maximo and read about the Fuse at, uh, project where you can build these models. And you can get your some animations. Go through and pick down whatever kind of animations you want and you can uh, download them. One of the most, uh, when you do the animations, just make sure any kind of movement you check in place because if you don't they'll run off screen and that translates into the game so make sure you check in place uh, for the uh, documentation I suggest you get these base animations at least you need an idle a walk a run jump up falling idle and falling to land when you're doing the jump animation you need three of these uh, items animations so use these words right here that I have posted in the search and you'll find them so rem remember that to use those uh, you'll need a, some kind of death scene a punching and an idle punching so that's like the minimum we want to have available to us when we move it into the kit and like I said just make sure you check in place for any animation that's running or walking or such all right we're going to reduce that actually I'm just going to close that we're done with that Alright, let's get down in the kit. I'm going to go in here and we're just going to use the folder that's already been created here. I'm just going to make a new folder. Where's my button? Alright, new folder. I'm going to call it uh, human. Female. Cancel that. And I'm going to make a fit model. And we're going to go down inside of that. And we're going to need, I'm going to uh, have several different types of fit models, so I'm just going to add another folder. We'll call her um, female uh, fit. We'll just call her, all right, let's try that again. Female. We'll just call her female fit uh, underscore one that way I may have different uh, versions of the fit model so we'll go down here we're going to need two folders in here we're going to add a animation we'll store all of our animation files in there we're going to need a mats we'll store all our mats in here um, when you download your uh, model whatever folder you put it in uh, start keeping up with those because you're going to have to keep them separated with animations and stuff it gets confusing so I, I've picked up some extra animations I have all the animations set up here and then we have the, um, the base female fit so I have the FBX model and the textures Stop my file. so after you've done all your editing on Maximo just go ahead and bring them down here onto your uh, system and then we're going to load them in here by default let's stick them in the mats instead of up here because it's going to be easier to move the three folders out and leave the, all the mats in here so we just hit import we're going to find our model so here and here we're going to say open We want the skeleton, we want the mesh, there's no animations on her, so we'll uncheck that, and we'll say import. 
this is going to take just a little bit because my system is slow. I'll pause the video here and then we'll be back. Alright, that's done. Uh, just a few errors right there. And we're going to try to close that out. As you can see, we brought in all the, uh, all the materials plus uh, the three extra folders. What I'm going to do is just move them one by one. So we need to move the skeleton mesh. We're going to move that up one. Move that. There should be physical assets. Let's move that up one. And skeleton. There we go. So now the mats are on the folder and unless to move that way. Let's go ahead and save all real quick. Uh, while that's saving, I just wanted to point out what we're doing is I'd already packaged the initial empty kit before we started the models. That, that's already been made. It's up in the, uh, my, my naming structure. So it's stored in the from version and I've already did the uh, game zip and loaded that on my server and tested it. It's working. So we have the uh, first part of the game built and ready to go. Now we're going to make a two version by adding content and this is where we're going to add the player character. Alright, now that we have this up we need to go to the modular player character down in the blueprints. So click that. Make sure you get this one because I have clicked the wrong one. Modular player character. And what it says is it's create a you can right click it and it's supposed to be able to do create blueprint using this unfortunately it's grayed out so what I just did was duplicate so we just hit the duplicate I'm going to call it modular player oops player female okay let's save that We'll come back to that in just a minute. But now that that's done, then it says to find the guy animation in the MMO new character. So we'll just go down to new character. We're going to look for the guy animation. It's got the orange underbar, so it right is right there. We're going to target that. It says to right click it, and we're going to look for retarget aim and duplicate animal animation blueprints. Once that opens, you can see that we don't have a target. It says to go ahead and uncheck show only compatible. There's our base female skeleton. We'll grab it, hit select. It's going to save it right there. Alright, it's going up into the MMO folder where all our other stuff was. So let's go up there. Characters. Alright, there we go. So this is all the animations that are tied to it and we're going to be replacing them and I should have imported the animations which I haven't done but let's do that real quick so let's import the animations let's go back up All right. I'm just going to hit them all real quick and just uh, we got to pick the skeleton here so we're going to pick our, our base skeleton and they're just going to hit import all that's going to take a little bit, and I'll go ahead and stop the uh, recording here, and we'll be right back. Okay, now I have all the animations in. These are the ones that I've got up from uh, Mixamo. Here's the one, the uh, duplicates. These are the duplicates of the one we just made. And it says, all right, the next thing we want to do is we want to find the newly created blueprint, animation blueprint, which was Guy Anime. What I'm going to do is uh, rename that right now. I'm going to call it Base Female Hit BP. Okay. And we need to. Let's see what we need to do. All right, we need to open that. So we'll double click it. Then we're going to go into uh, Animograph, and let's see what we're going to. All right, so we're going to go into State Machine. What we'll be doing is editing all these, and we'll start with Idle Run.
we have two of these which is just idle run and then combat idle run and we need to edit both of these so we'll go down inside double click once we're down inside you can see that let me pull this down uh, let me show it to a clips these are the three that were already loaded in there you notice it says copy so we want to get rid of those and put in our animations so we should be looking oops I missed that just one so let's look for our not this one over here I can't but we should have make it running put that in there idle Remember, anything that says copy was the original, so we want to replace those. So we can check right there. All right, so we know that's good. Let's save that. Let's go up. Now we're going to replace uh, in the combat idle run. Same thing. Idle. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We, let's look at this. All right, what we look in here is we should have run, a walk, and then combat idle. Notice uh, in this one she's trying to hold a gun, but we're going to do the punching. So we'll look for punching idle. I believe it's under idle punching. There we go. So we'll drag that in. And then we'll have walk. And then run. Alright, there we go. We'll save that. And let's go back up. Okay, we did everything in there. So let's go back to Android Graph. State Machine. Uh, next, we're going to do the jump the jump sequence. Remember, we have three animations we got to load. So we just double click this one. Just single click this one. You'll see the jump start copy. We're going to replace it with our jump start. And compile. Save. And we should be able to go back up. Oops, too far. Alright, and then jump loop. Double click, single click. Change this to our jump loop. Compile. Save. And then jump in. So we did, we did this, and this, and this, and now let's do the death, or dead. So we're going to replace it with, I have several animations, but I'm just going to use death basic. That'll work. Compile. Save. Alright, let's look at the documentation. Alright, we're all done here. Let's go clean up all the old animations. When you start to delete these, if it says it's linked to something, uh, then we know we've missed an animation, but it shouldn't say any link, so we'll just hit delete and hit delete. So let's look for the copy. Don't delete the blend spaces, we want to keep the blend spaces. Just animation sequences. Alright, delete. That should be leave us with our blend spaces, which we've already edited. So we got our two blend spaces, animation blueprint, skeleton, physical assets, and the skeleton mesh that we imported. All right, so that all looks good. Uh, we're running long on time. Gonna have to wrap it up here, and we'll pick pick up in the next video uh, from here. All right, see you in a little bit. Thank you.